Hi, I'm doing a project share on Shelly Geigel's Raindrops on Roses mini album. It's not quite that mini. It's three and a half by seven by nine. She uses the Heartfelt Creations Raindrops on Roses 12 by 12 pad. She creates her chipboard album and has eight pages on the inside. I am using a pre-made album by Heartfelt Creations, which is called a 3D Flip Fold album. <clears throat> and it only has five pages. So I'm going to show you one at a time because I did, out of the one paper pad, I did create two albums. Alrighty used a, a few stickles here. Oh, I'm not quite sure if you can see that. Hmm. Some bling that I got from Michaels. Some trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, to be honest, I can't remember where I got this, but I will add it in the description. Here's the back. I'm not cutting down this ribbon until I have the photos. Okay, we have a flip. I did not mat all of the back sides. I just did it on a few. I, I figure I actually add the photos before I give it to the person. So I'm not worried about what it looks like right now. Okay, another flip. Here are some photo mats. And this is a Martha Stewart scroll heart paper punch. There's a flip. And as you can see, I did not mat that. But I figure if a photo is going to go there, it's, it's not a big deal. Another pocket with a few mats. A corner pocket. This is the Martha Stewart Eyelet Lace Corner Punch. Another flap. Actually, there were two. to make sure I did have enough paper to finish the album. I did do the album and whatever scraps I had left over is what I made into the photo mats. I didn't worry about the way this is faced because I figure a, a photo is going to go, it's actually going to cover this so it's not a big deal and if it doesn't I will find a spellbinders die that will cover it if need be. And here is a waterfall. I'll tie these up later and I will show you the other one. Okay, on this one, I did make it to where this does flip open. Is magnetized. I stamped over this with a, some type of scroll die. Alrighty. Here's a flap and another flap.
a pocket along with three photo mats. The back sides are black. They're going to be covered either with a photo or journaling. Corner pocket. Three photo mats. A waterfall. I do really like the way she creates her, her pages to where they're connected, the way she connects her flaps to where they're connected to the pages because you don't really need a magnet to hold it down. A little bit of stickles here. Not sure if you can see that. Another pocket with a few photo mats. A belly band, which I do think is pretty, but I wasn't quite sure what to put underneath there. Just actually, I did have a couple things extra, a couple of mats that would have worked. pocket with three mats. Another flat. And another. Oops. My notes to let me know what I'm supposed to be putting where. And another waterfall. On this album, I did forget to add my ribbon for my closure here on the album, but it's not a big deal because it is flat and everything seems to stay in place, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, she has awesome tutorials for beginners and those who know what they're already they're doing. Um, easy to follow. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.